Hey everyone, this is Rutakas, this is week 9 of us covering the games entered into the 2021 Solitaire Print and Play Game Design Contest currently hosted on Board Game Geek. This week we will be covering the following games. One plays games at the time of recording, still a mystery to me, but I'm sure the video will be great. Solo McLachlan, aka Flying Solo Games, will be presenting Torch and Blade. Bezago Kolava will be playing The Highest Adventure, a solitaire game of the 1953 Mount Everest expedition. Pasian's show will be showing you Dungeon in a Box. And I will be bringing you Global Warming, Point of No Return. Links to all these videos and my playlist will be in this video's description as usual. Alright, that should be all. Have fun with watching me try to save the earth by preserving as many natural resources as possible. Hey everyone, this is Rathakos and I'm back with yet another entry for the 2021 Solitaire Print and Play Game Design Contest that's currently hosted on Board Game Geek. Today we will be playing Global Warming Point of No Return. Quite an interesting and very tough solo game. Um, before we get started, let me just quickly set up the game. Right. and that is the setup of the game so uh, let me give you a brief introduction before we can start playing pretty much almost right away so you see here we have the world map we have all the different or almost all the different continents and also we have the UN here in the bottom left although entered in this contest this is not a solo game only you can also play this multiplayer um, I think up to six people that's why these five continents plus the UN but if you play solo you always play the UN so this is where we can act mainly. So what we what we need to do is we need to go through the entire deck of cards, resolving all, all card effects, all events. And then at the end, we still need to have at least three continents that have at least one natural resource left. Actually, more than one natural resource. So we need three continents at least with at least two natural resources, which is really tough. Um, so... I wasn't able to win the game yet, so let's hope that we can win it now. Um, just a disclaimer, this is pretty tough, so I can't guarantee you a victory today, but as you usually can do that. So what I've done, just so that we can um, distinguish the dice a little bit better, first of all, I don't have all these colors that they want here, and also the colors are covered by the dice, so I just wrote everything down here. So. Each country, uh, each continent has money, economy, warfare, natural resources, and technology. The only um, faction that doesn't have any natural resources is the UN, which we play. And um, that is pretty much how the game functions. We need to go through the entire deck and still have enough natural resources left, which is pretty tough because we can't really generate natural resources. So um, we start the game by drawing two cards. Um, we will choose one card we can keep in our play area. So you see cards have two main uh, parts here. The top one is always an event that happens. So minus one natural resource in this continent on the left. But we can also pay this much money, so to speak. So we have uh, three at the moment. And we can pay two of those to get that card into our play area. And then we can... And when it's our turn, one of our actions can be to use that effect down here. Now, in the very beginning, we take two cards. One of them we can keep in our play area, but we need to do the resolve the effect at the top first. And the other card goes to the bottom. So um, we see that we already have three natural re minus three natural resources here. What we could do, um, we know that this is Asia. So we could try to minimize the natural resources that Asia loses and try to keep that at four keep that at um, at five. So we know that we lose them at the end. But you know what, what, let me see which of these um, powers is better for us. Passive, that's not bad. Whenever one of our resources reaches zero, we just get two million. That's not too bad. Combat desertification doesn't sound too good. Domes for forest preservation, okay? Pay one of any resource, activate all your cards. 
this is not very helpful to be honest because we can activate our cards anyway um, and we usually have enough actions um, each turn so uh, we will play that one so this one goes to the bottom of the library here again. That's how the deck of cards is called, the draw deck. We will put that card in our play area here. So we know that we can use that at any time, which is the passive. And three, minus three natural resources in Asia. So we're already down to two here, which is wonderful. If we have one less here, Asia's already lost pretty much. Um, and now we just play the card. We always draw a card, we resolve the effect, and then we can buy that card uh, if we want to. Um, we always have two um, things we can do each turn. Um, we can always buy a card. We can also perform an action, like one of the actions we have in our cards here. We don't have any yet because that's a passive. We can, when a card is used, it is turned sideways to note that it's deactivated and we can reactivate it as one of our actions and also we can manipulate the resources here except for the natural resources so we can either spend money to add warfare or technology to warfare or technology by spending money or what we can also do is we can add money by spending technology these are the this is everything we can do we can do that for every zone and that is pretty much how the game plays. One more thing before we get started, there are crises that can happen. So whenever one of these resources is completely depleted, then a crisis, hap a crisis happens. Um, and the worst crisis, in my opinion, that can happen is if one of the natural resources is depleted, because then we take the next card and we need to deduct resources from all linked countries. Um, of that country where the natural resource dropped to zero. And that is dangerous because that can also be natural resources and we need to be careful of that. So yeah, and that's pretty much how it plays. So um, it always works like this. We draw an event from the deck, oops. So desertification um, and that's minus two natural resources in Africa. So you see, and within one turn and the preparation, we already lost five natural resources. It's that quick. So now it's outer. Now we can see um, Oasis project. So we can pay one technology to get one um, one money in our resource, one million. So uh, one money. So that doesn't really help us too much, in my opinion, um, because we can do that anyway at all times as a as an action. So that doesn't really help us. So I'm not gonna spend an action to actually buy that card. So what we can see here is that we have not a lot of warfare here. Um, and if we have start, if, we, if that warfare drops to zero, then we start a fight with a linked country. And that is not a good thing because then resources are lost again. What I might do here is that I spend one technology here in Oceania to increase money by one and then spend that money to increase warfare by one we still have only one money here but at least we have these dice a little bit up so that's not too bad we won't be able to do that here quickly because africa doesn't have anything so i think that we can't really do anything here all right these were our two actions and then we draw the next card and that is how the game works so africa is losing one money okay doesn't have a lot to begin with but all right so and uh, that was that. And now we can have our two actions. Do we want that? Pay one national resource plus two of any other resource in your zone. Um, this card is not gonna work because we don't have any natural resources. So we can't even use that. Um, so this card is pretty much useless in solo mode, if I understand it correctly. So let me see if we can maybe rotate a few things here again. So, um, the worst crisis that can happen is natural resources and warfare, as I said. At least that's my understanding of it. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce one technology here in Africa to get one money. And that one money I get, I will use to increase warfare again. So at least now warfare is two. So if we lose money or uh, technology, that's not good, of course, but it's better than losing warfare, I think. So that's what I'm going to do for this turn. So, minus one natural resource in Oceania. So let's 
apply that. All right, so these two already are down to two, so that is not a good thing. Uh, pay two money and activate two cards in any zone. Well, any zone is only mine, so that's not gonna help too much either. So, so far we are pretty unlucky with the draw of the cards. Um, so let me see if we can rearrange a few things here. Well, let me see. Well, it depends on what cards we get, right? What else we get, but we could start increasing our warfare a little bit. So I'm gonna spend one technology to get one money and then spend that money for another warfare here. So we have a few resources there. All right, so let's do the next event. All right, America is losing two natural resources. And you see, we're almost, we are almost on the verge of losing, actually. <laughs> um, all right, Continental Shock Absorber, pay two technology, use another card, then deactivate it. Okay, I don't know how helpful that really is. Um, that probably is in a multiplayer game, it's probably more, um, more helpful. So that's not gonna help us either. We are not very lucky with the cards here. So just to be safe, let me reduce technology down to one and increase my money a little bit because we need money later on for buying cards in case we get any good ones. So far we aren't all too lucky. And then let me see. And then I think I will convert one technology into money. So next round, we can increase the warfare here in Asia. Okay. Europe is going to lose to money. Oh, doesn't have a whole lot anymore. Okay. Uh, passive, when you deactivate a card, add two money in your zone. That's not too bad. So whenever we use a card, pretty much, we get money. That is good. So I'm definitely gonna buy that one. So that's um, minus two here. Okay, good. That's not too bad, but for that, we need cards we can activate, right? So, so far we only have passives, which is not perfect, to be honest. Okay, so now we have two, uh, another one more action we have, and what I wanted to do is spend that money here to increase the warfare. All right, next card. All right, Asia is going to lose to Warfare. Good that we just <laughs> raised that. Pay one Warfare and get two money. Is that helpful? Not too much. I mean, could we could pay one Warfare for four money then, right? That's pretty extreme. But I also need something to generate generate Warfare. Well, and then we can spend one money to get one warfare back. Well, actually, that's not too bad. Let's do that. Let's buy that card. But, hmm, then we don't have any money anymore. So, hmm, let me see. So what we could do is the following. We could spend, I would spend one warfare to get one money. Then we have three. And for the second action, I'm gonna get that card and spend two money again. So now we're all down to one. I somehow need to increase these dice. Okay, next card. Minus one natural resource up here, so and Oceania is pretty much lost. So let's hope that we can still avert a crisis up there, but you see that the cards are pretty much predetermined how, how many natural resources you lose. So you just, mainly you need to try to avert crises which is gonna be very difficult here now because we don't know what will happen. Okay, conservative genetics, passive. When any card is activated, plus one million years old. That's not too bad either, but we have this one here, which is almost better. Okay, so let's see. So we could pay, pay one warfare, then we have zero, and could get, and would then get two million, and because we deactivated that card, we that passive triggers here. Oh, what am I doing? Give me a second. There we go. Um, that passive is triggering and we get another two million. So uh, two money. So we have now five. All right, that was my first action. Second action is I will pay one 
dice. I will pay one money here to get one warfare back. And I think now we're pretty good because now we can increase technology and warfare with our money and keep getting money back. That's not too bad. I think we can re work really well with that. So I think the UN is now fine. All right, so you saw that the warfare die was gone, but we still didn't trigger a crisis because the UN is not able to fight with a country. So that's why it was okay to reduce my my warfare by to zero. Okay, I think these were two actions, right? Did I do two actions? I think so, yeah. So let's continue. So Africa will lose one technology and there we have an issue. You see, technology is now down to zero in Africa and now we have a crisis. And that means that my technology is not too bad because I just need to deactivate all cards in the player zone here. Um, that's okay. So um, let's see, pay one warfare, one money in your zone. We don't need that because we have much better stuff here. So um, I, will lose my, I will use my two actions to just reactivate two of my cards. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do. And then let's draw the next card. So Asia will lose two money. Oh, that's not money, that's money here like this. Okay, plant economy, deactivate a card plus one million years own. Not too interesting either. I think the cards I have are pretty good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use one action to reactivate that card. And, oh, I didn't trigger that passive last time, by the way. And then I'm gonna spend one money here to increase my Warfare. All right, let's continue. Okay, down here we lose one money, which is bad because now there is none left. And that means that each linked continent also loses one money. So the only linked continent is Asia. So Asia will lose one money here. That crisis was still okay. So as you see, technology and money, uh, economy, economy, uh, economy crises are okay. Um, but the other two are really bad. Okay, uh, AI complete success. Deactivate any card plus one of a resource of your choice in your zone. Would be great if that would be in any zone, but that's not the case. So uh, that's not too helpful either. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spend two more money, I think. No, let me spend one more money to increase my warfare, but then I will use that card, pay one warfare to get two money. And also because of that passive, we get actually four. So we have six money. So you can pretty much just spend one money to get four money with these two cards if they are active. Okay, so, oh, okay. America just lost two natural resources because of tornadoes. That is pretty bad. So natural resource now means that we need to draw a card and apply a minus one of that resources for all linked continents, which is only Europe. Um, and that's natural resource. So Europe is gonna lose one more natural resource. So down to two. And we need to put that card then at the bottom. So as you can see, we are still, we don't, we didn't lose yet but Asia or Europe cannot lose any natural resources. And you just saw that Asia will lose natural resources. So that's that's already it. I think, I think we already lost, but let's see, maybe we can do something. Um, all right, so Europe will lose one technology. There we go. And I will reactivate that card and then spend money again to this time I will raise my technology just in case I need it like this okay so uh, next card arms race oh that's something different choose start a fight with a connected continent or minus three money well um, let's see this is Asia 
Asia could start a fight with any continent. So whoever loses the fight. So you see here, that's a warfare of three and that would be of two. So Asia would win, Oceania would lose it because here um, that continent loses the top, the, mo the resource with the most uh, amount, so to speak, will be reduced um, by one. Um, so we do we want Asia, we don't want Asia to lose money, I think, um, but we don't actually, I think I'd rather let Asia lose all the money because I don't want Oceania or Africa to lose the top resources because here the top resource is natural resource. We're not going to do that. Um, I think these two are connected too, and top resources would be one of these two. We don't want that either. And these are pretty much topped up at the moment. They are pretty high. So I'm just going to let Asia lose the money and each connected continent will also lose money. So here one money is gone and here one money is gone too. But I think it could be worse. Okay, so let's continue. So minus one natural resource in down here. So that's gone. And that means now we need to reduce resources in Asia and that's gonna be one warfare. Okay, good, that goes to the bottom. Oh, I didn't do my 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 actions last turn. Um, so I will do my actions now. Deactivate this card, choose two technology or two money. Mm, that's not a bad card to have. I have enough money, so what, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend one money to get that card here. We can have a maximum of 10 cards. And then I'm gonna spend another money to get my warfare up again. Okay. So let's see. Minus two natural resources in Europe. So Europe is gone too. Um, and now we need to see Africa and Asia will lose one natural resource each. So, and now I'm a little in, in a little bit of a predicament because we are not quite done with the game. I think I'm gonna finish playing, but um, to be honest, we already lost. We didn't, we didn't really lose now, but we need to do the um, check for the win and lose condition when the deck is, oh, that deck is completely empty. And then we need to have Two, at least two natural resources and three continents. We don't have that. We don't lose immediately. We now would lose if all natural resources would be gone, but still we can't really win anymore, which is a shame. So here, um, one money will be deducted. Pay one technology plus one resource of your choice. Well, mm. You know what? I have enough stuff, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend that to get this card here. And what I'm then going to do is I'm going to deactivate. Oh, no, I'm going to here. I'm going to pay one warfare to get with that passive four million again. Uh, I'm always saying million. I mean money like this. So, and now we really can't do much anymore, but let's see um, how much we actually lose up here. So minus two technology in Europe. Okay, so we need to pay attention to that technology here. Uh, pay one, that's not too interesting. So I think, well, we can't really do a whole lot, right? We can't deduct warfare for any of these dice. We could lose the money to increase the technology here. But that's not really going to be helpful. We can't increase anything here either. That's going to be helpful. So I'm just going to decrease that by two. No, I'm going to decrease that by one to put one more here into my war. Warfare die. And also with the other action, I'm just going to reactivate that card. Okay. So let's see. Minus one warfare here. That's fine. America is going to be able to live with that, I'm pretty sure. Pay to warfare and then we get two of the other resources. That's not too helpful either. So I'm just going to spend two money here. Just top up these resources here. They're not going to help me too much, but you know, why not? 
Okay, so here minus one technology. Okay, we need to be careful here. Pay one technology and plus two money in your zone. Well, you know, we could do that. So I'm gonna pay one warfare for four money again, and then we're gonna spend three of that. So let me just raise that by one to get that card here. All right. So we're almost through to technology down here. Deactivate a card plus one technology in your zone. That's not interesting at all. So uh, let me see. Uh, first, I will reactivate this card. That's one turn. And also I will spend, let me spend one money to get warfare up one more like this. Okay, next card. Uh, Europe will lose one natural resource, but Europe already has zero, so nothing happens, I suppose. Pay one of any resource, activate all your cards. That's not too interesting either. Oh, I think that was the card we had in the beginning, right? Where we had to choose between this one and that one here. Um, so I'm just gonna do pretty much the same thing as before. I will just spend one, one of that warfare thing to get four money um no i would deactivate the card but i will just reactivate it with my second action all right nice asia minus two natural resources so these are gone too and now we lose one warfare in all linked countries so that's one warfare less here and here and I think also here, I can't really see it, but I think these are connected, would make sense at least. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I can't really do a whole lot anymore. Um, well, what, what I could do, I could spend some money here in America just to get that technology maybe up by one, just to minimize any potential future crisis. And also in Europe, I will spend one money to get that warfare up one. Okay, so we're almost through. Africa will two will lose two natural resources, so <laughs> almost no natural resources left anymore. Um, when you buy a card at one technology, that's not interesting at all. Um, so I will just I really can't do a lot anymore now, as you can see. I will just use America just to top up these resources a little bit. It's not really necessary, but you never know what the next card is gonna be, so. Um, and that's four here. So let's see. Minus one warfare in Africa. Well, that is just great. So we have no warfare here, so we will have to wage country uh, war with another country. Let's just wage war with Asia. Asia, no. Well, it doesn't matter, because no matter who Africa fights with, Africa would actually lose the battle and reduce the top resource, which is that natural resource. So Africa will fight, doesn't matter, anyone, and lose that natural resource too. And now we are in a pretty funny state because this was the last turn of the game. Um, and now we need to check, do we still have three continents with at least two natural resources? No, we don't. But also at the same time, we actually lost directly in the last turn because we lost all natural resources. So this was the worst game I had. Um, so yeah, we are done with the game. So first of all, thank you for watching until now. But um, as you know, we don't review games um, for this contest because they're not done yet and they're still in the progress of being made. But uh, my first impression, I think this is a really interesting resource game. I like the topic a lot. My problem with the game is that I am not sure I would have to, I would actually have to count everything together here, but I'm not quite sure if it's possible to win. Um, it should be, you should be able to win somehow, but maybe you would have to have a perfect game to actually win. I know it's hard preserving the earth. The rules were a little bit different before. I think in the beginning, you only needed at least a few natural resources on one continent or two or something like that. But um, but then I would have lost two in this round here, but I would have lost my, uh, would have won my other games maybe. Because you see that um, you can't really do anything against all these natural resources that I deducted here. I mean, that makes sense. 
But um, the problem is, in a, I think in a multiplayer game, it works because you can kind of work together. Here in a solo game, you can only play the UN. And you can't do anything. You can just increase your dice. Um, and you can, I mean, you can increase all dice, but you can only use your cards for working with your dice. You can't use these cards to do anything good here. And also, you are not able to somehow stop natural resources from being depleted. So I don't know if it's possible to win. It's probably possible, but you would probably need a perfect game because so far, I'm still waiting for my first win in this game. So I don't know. There might be a thing of balancing, but maybe it's just supposed to be this difficult. Maybe. So, so far I have a 100% loss rate with the current rules. But apart from that, the topic um, of trying to save the planet is nice. I like that a lot um, because I already also backed Earth Rising on Kickstarter just a little while ago and that has um, a similar topic too. So that is great. But as I said, it's really hard. But that was my playthrough of global warming point of no return so if you're still watching thank you very much for sticking until the very end um why don't you drop down in the comments what you think of games that have this topic like these um this nature topic preserving the earth um trying to nat or handle natural resources and all of that so there are not a whole lot of games but a few are there like co2 for example and also earth rising on kickstarter and this one here for the contest so let me know how you like that and apart from that, if you like this video, why don't you let me know? And also head over to my channel and check out the other videos and say hi. Um, I'd like to see you there. All right, then thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. All right, take care, everyone. Cheers.